say thank you all very much for coming out on this very cold evening to celebrate the world of books. When I was a kid, I had very little indeed, very little, except my mum always had books in the house and vocabulary was my way out, you know, and it came out through songwriting in my particular instance. But I'm so pleased to see this uh, enthusiasm for the celebration of books, for sure. I'd like to read you a poem by John Betjeman. Yeah, I mean, John Betjeman is mostly known for kind of frippery and the girls in tennis outfits and all that. But he wrote this poem about the, the death of his father who was, who was deaf at the point of death. And it moved me quite a, a deal. Um, one of my best friend's fathers was buried in Highgate Cemetery where, where, where this takes place. Anyway, this is the poem, yeah. The kind old face, the egg-shaped head, the tie discreetly loud, the loosely fitting shooting clothes, a closely fitting shroud. He liked old city dining rooms, potatoes in their skin, but now his mouth is wide to let the London clay come in. He took me on long silent walks in country lanes when young. He knew the name of every bird, but not the song it sung. And when he could not hear me speak, he smiled and looked so wise that now I do not like to think of maggots in his eyes. He liked the rain-washed Cornish air, the smell of ploughed up soil. He liked a landscape big and bare and painted it in oil. But least of all, he liked that place which hangs on Highgate Hill of soaked Carrara covered earth for Londoners to fill. He would have liked to say goodbye, shake hands with many friends. In Highgate now, his finger bones stick through his finger ends. You God, who treat him thus and thus, say, save his soul and pray. And you ask me to believe you, but I only see decay. Thank you.